back for the listeners and the viewers and all of that good shit. Why? I didn't see you there. This is Sean Ski and a place to be. And you are tuned into. I hope everybody has been tuning into uh, everything uh, Runaround Media. You feel me? Third World TV Season 1 out on YouTube. Uh, what they say? Like, comment, subscribe to the channel at Running Wild Media, baby. Baby. Hi. Got Barry Lutello on strings. And we are live in the next. Check it. This about to be some other shit, but I'm interviewing the motherfucking Ski. Sean Ski, Mommy, Ski Mask. As all you motherfuckers know who she is. So basically, you know, I just want to get in touch with who you really are. As do all the other people out there. You wear a whole lot of hats. Seems to be a lot of mystery behind the ski. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if that's where ski mask comes from. Ha ha. Ha de ha ha. Ha. Um, I'm like a hippie. But, you know, I can be temperamental. So I'm a temperamental hippie out this bitch. But I'm learning to be a little bit more balanced in the way that I approach things. Yeah. It's a vibe. You feel me? Shoot a fire. I fucks with it. I mean, you know, Ski, I know you've been on your spiritual journey for quite some time now. Even though <clears throat> I done seen a bunch of bitch-ass niggas in the stories. Fuck this and fuck that. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I understand that um, the raw elements of who you are is important to display. But speak on that shit. <sighs> oh, man. The bitch ass niggas and the fuck you niggas in the story. I'm not going to say, like, I don't give a fuck that I want to just assassinate a person's character purpose. So that obviously I had a reason. But just the self reflection that you do behind all of that shit, you just realize childish and school for using your feelings like any other motherfucker that can on social media talk bullshit. I don't really advertise me as an engineer much, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I don't feel like that I have the time to like really focus on it. Like I, I like co-engineering sessions, you know what I'm saying? Like directing niggas, I feel like my directional skills and shit be on point. But I really want to put my energy into uh, making the music as great as I can possibly make it, and the media aspect of shit, like you know, having the shows look a certain way, uh, just presenting the content to the people in a way that makes sense, especially like, if I'm trying to get niggas to tap into me, I want them to understand that I'm a raw, wild ass nigga, but you know what I'm saying, I'm also sensible and I'm inviting, you know, I got shit to talk about and I, I like to, to bring people together and, you know, have dope ass people display who they are, because essentially it's just all about being yourself, I like to, I like to be me all the time. And it's dope as fuck when people just accept you for being who you are, cause yeah, I love you. I don't know, y'all. I like to listen to other people talk a lot more than I like to talk about myself. I just kind of feel like it's a bit narcissistic to just talk about yourself all the fucking time. Cause shut the fuck up. But I can't think like that. I feel like that's the introverted part of myself. I mean, oh, 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 oh! I did forget something. So. Y'all can fuck with Sean Ski, you know what I'm saying? On the hair ski shit, I do like to retwist people's locks and things like that. Um, it's definitely something new that I'm, I'm tapping into, I guess, as far as business-wise. So, you know, fuck with me. And, and whatever else I got new coming up, I'll be sure to let everybody know. But yeah, you know, it's just, a, uh, it's interesting, you know, the development, at least that I've saw over the years. It's kind of like you fall in and out of periods on social media. What is that about? Hmm. So the periods, uh, man, fuck all them niggas on social media. Like, I, sometimes I just get to a point, I guess, where I don't have shit to talk about. So I just don't. And it's not nothing personal to the people who fuck with me or tap in with me. Because, like, my peoples, they hit me up. They ask, how you living? They say, how you feeling? And, and it's all love. Like, when niggas really respect your mind and shit like that, they're not going to take it personally when you take hiatuses. But I wasn't really focused, neither. Like, my focus wasn't up. And I was going through a whole lot of life shit that niggas go through, especially as musicians. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, that's all that shit about. You know, ain't nothing personal. And like sometimes you be like fuck this and fuck that, and it's just really for like purposes of getting my mind right. And I feel like that's an important part of the spiritual journey. You know what I'm saying? Because um, sometimes you just gotta not give a fuck. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I need to know about water. Listen, it, um, yeah, I listen to it. I listen to it. I'm honestly excited for the because you said melodic version, so I guess you you hinting that this is not. The one that you're gonna officially drop on the album. You know, what was the inspiration behind that song? You know, like, if niggas actually listen to the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about the money, it's about the power, all that shit. But just even like the verses, like, where that shit even come from? Like, was there an album? You know, can, can you hit a drop date or something of the sort? Especially like going like from the old shit of yours that I used to listen to, like the on fleet. You know what I'm saying? Like granted, you was you was definitely talking some shit and uh watching me, you know what I'm saying, and uh and reminiscing, you know, you got different little styles too, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you constantly give niggas like little sneak peeks. You be like just teasers and shit about like that's fire. That shit is fire. The inspiration behind water, yo, so I feel like that when I tell a story, it's gonna be like one of them cliche stories that you see in like MTV behind the scenes, whatever the fuck. But like real shit. I came in the studio. Um, this is my first time actually stepping in the studio with Barry. And he was like, you know, just a cool, sly ass nigga, you feel me? It was it was definitely like a dope vibe. And he was just playing some chords. And he was like, you know, you fuck with that? That's how he do it, just play some you fuck with that. And then my mind, like, I'm not my head. Like, I ain't doing that shit just to do it. But I'm like, yeah. So, um, honestly, like, the hook just came out of the chords. But really, you're my mind, huh? Yeah, that's honestly how we built a lot of the album up. Just fucking around with some sounds. And then, like, adding some melodies to it. See them with fit and all of that. Um, the creation of it was lit as fuck. Honestly, like, though, when niggas started, it wasn't even, like, intended to become a whole album. It just turned into that over time. Because we kept making shit in the studio but i guess the way that everything started to flow into each other it sounded like a body of work so oh man so somewhere out there i'm planning on actually dropping the album i want to say maybe on the cusp of like second quarter so march april i'm, I'm working out that i don't want to give a solid because you know that's how I, be happening and everything so i'm still getting everything together together but as far as like the official album version single water i'm releasing that on january the 12th so that's coming sooner than the fuck you think and um definitely a lot of surprises with water you know what i'm saying i, I feel like that this is a song that's been taken in so many different directions and i just hope people can like fuck with it and feel me all that good shit you taking out there yeah y'all just like i like to send like good vibrations and shit because i know for myself and on a spiritual path you know this media personality yes yes i had to like step back analyze the way that i was seeing shit how i'm gonna give it to the viewers you feel me because i'm kicking perspectives and a lot of this shit stems from my perspective you know what i'm saying just bring people along the Keep the conversations and the good vibrations flowing. First of all, this is a year for everybody to like get more in tune with yourself spiritually. Like love yourself, you know what I'm saying? And be aware of what the fuck is going on outside of yourself. So let, let everybody tap in and spread some love and some light. But don't be no dumbass nigga out here in these streets neither. It's an even balance. But people think this spiritual journey is ohms and fucking leg crossing and shit. It's like, nah. Bitch, I drink my tea and still throw it at you. Listen, Ski got a slick mouth, okay? I done, I done, listen, I done been on, on the gram a couple times and then and, and, and popped in on the story tip. I even heard a live or two. I appreciate the honesty, Ski, but you need to relax. Definitely need to relax. And I can only say this because I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to see too. So, what did you talk about? I guess before I decide to let you go, 
let the people know what the fuck you're working on. You know, this is a platform for you to talk all your hot shit. Man, what I got in store for... It's, it's like so much shit that's coming. I feel like sometimes I'm bad at plugging myself because I hope be forgetting like certain shit. Like, we, that's when you a nigga that do a million thousand things off this motherfucker. Like, yeah, dummy. You know what I'm saying? It's like 53,000 bags of diesel. Shout out to my nigga Freeze. Up, baby, shout out to Third World, the Mafia, and this bitch. You know what I'm saying? My niggas got big content. Con- Listen, <laughs> the world and that motherfucker is ours. It's yours too. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no front ass motherfucker, but you just gotta know that that shit is ours. We all own this bitch. Like, yeah. For all you hating ass hoes out there, I know you see me. Pitch us rolling, nigga. In 2021, it's the world. (sighs) (sighs) Bitch. I think I'm about to be out. Bust it. Get the way and get the money. It ain't about the money, it's about.